ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where Arthur's on his way home from a night of no good thievery and skullduggery. Didn't do much. We didn't rob much of value, just a whole load of fairly worthless crap that hopefully in aggregate will actually turn us a bit of a profit. Um, oh, it's you. Apparently, I already have a reputation around here. Um, so, you know, it's not brilliant, but what are you going to do, eh? Hello. Hang on a minute. Who are you? Who the devil are you? Yes. Fenrin Willow's dog. Oh, you just sort of looked a bit shady, and I thought maybe I could sell something to you. Um, uh, so, hi. Goodbye. You have already met Mr. Okay. Amuse. Who are you? What is it? My name is Methrodel. I've come to the Imperial City to make my fortunes. You and me both, then. Um... I think I'll do just fine. I'm a natural. Finders keepers, right? And I'm a pretty good finder. Uh-huh. The Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Not a bad way to make some money if you've got the stones for it. <laughs> if I've got the stones for anything, I definitely stole them from someone else. Um, well... I won't stay in chat, but um, I'm too tired. Been up all night. Uh, just get get some sleep. I don't know what the time scale in the game is currently set to, but um, that entire night lasted a lot quicker than I <coughs> excuse me quicker than I thought it would. So we'll who were eight hours sleep. I don't know when that'll take us to exactly, but you know, it's not like we have an alarm clock here. He'll sleep as long as he needs to, and then wake up potentially. Oh yeah, one o'clock in the two o'clock in the afternoon. Great, <laughs> um, fantastic. That's what happens when you stay up all night thieving, I suppose. All right, Some stuff in here that I could probably take too, but don't shit on your own doorstep, as they say. Um, ugh, right. Still a bit of a cloudy day. Hello, dog. Oh, let me say. Mm. Right. So, maybe one of the merchants up here will do. Hector, for example. You would think Hector might buy some stolen crap off me. If he's in. He is! Hector, my friend. Well met. I like to imagine Hector as a sort of, you know, kind of a... Uh, Spanish kind of accent. Hector. Yes. Even though he blatantly doesn't. Um, Let's do business. I don't suppose... Uh, maybe he doesn't like me enough. I think the disposition right. has to be pretty high. What a thoughtful gift. How nice. It's just what I want. I'll just give you a few extra bits of spare change, you know? Only quality would goods you, for sale here. Would what you consider me? Oh, dear. I don't think he will. <laughs> Tell you what, Take your time. For let's me, just get it as high as we possibly help. can, I'll and then the see. Goods and lowest prices yeah, he will! Get room. in! I just had to pay him a fairly substantial upfront fee, and I have no money left now. <coughs> Fantastic, brilliant. Okay, well, whatever. This may do us wonders in the future. In, in a, to consider it an investment, as I'm sure is the way he's putting it to us. Consider it an investment, friend. Um, Alright, then, well, you're not taking my inkwell, unless... Let me let me just see something. Hold on. Take these four repair hammers. That's more than I. Damn sure. Better think. Hope I'm I'm gonna haggle for a lot more than that from you, mate. With your disposition that high. Um. Now will they appear in your inventory? They do. Which means I can now launder the inkwell. <laughs> oh, wait. For what? Oh, you gotta be joking. What about? This fine folded cloth. I can't make that deal. Really? Okay, so the inkwell doesn't appear. God damn it. Well, I know where to get more, but still. Maybe there's a shop somewhere else I can buy one. Ugh. Inkwell? Why can't you just have inkwells? For heaven's sake. Um. Fine. Folded cloth for seven gold. A 
find. Just take the lot, mate. Take it off my hands. You'll notice his gold's going down as well, like it doesn't in the original game. I think it's a skewer's overhaul that does that. One of the plugins that, is, that comes with it is optional extras that I turned on that does that. I don't want gold to be easy to come by in this game for me. I don't. I really don't. Oh shit! I think I just. Well, you know, I've got sandals back at the uh, back at the cellar. I need some replacement shoes and the boots as well, of course. It's just walking around in a pair of stuff. Oh no, no, I've still got the rust rough kind of shoes. Okay, whatever. Actually, you know what? Take those. I'll take them back off you. But for some reason, I think maybe because I had to, maybe because I gave it away instead of selling it, like it was zero gold. Maybe that's why it's not showing up in here. Either way, that's real fucking annoying. Um, what else you got then? I could do with a hood. I got a grey robe hood. I'll take that actually. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything else? Um, not so much. Oh, I've got this package to deliver still, haven't I? Oh my god, I better go on with it. Get on with that, I think. Um, although first, what I need to do is go to the thank you for your patronage, Black Rook. Good day. Where are... there was a high elf here last night doing weird stuff with that ladle. I I wouldn't I'd get a new one if I were you, mate. Um So The Black Rook Tavern. I quite like it actually with a horse outside and everything. In a squalid sort of a way, it's very picturesque. Alright. Is it now? How are you doing? Go ahead. Please. Get me some lunch. Can I interest you in some of my wares? And a beer, because why not? Actually, no, get me one of your Nibonet Basin ones. They're pretty good. Um, a bottle of mutton stew. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm actually worse off money wise than I was yesterday. Thanks for that, Hector. Extortionate bastard. Um, and yeah, I'm now going to eat my bottle of mutton stew and drink my beer and do some alchemy. So, we've got nine apples, we've got 12. What do you call corn in plural? Bushels or something? I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Um, actually, corn and then lettuce and then no, uh, well, the other, whatever the other one was. I didn't click on lettuce. And then I or uh, onion and the wheat grain and that's it. All right, cool. Great. Now I've now got a bunch of restore fatigue potions that are fairly rubbish, but I can sell. Oh, hello again. Hi. I'm just... Um... Yes? I offer the finest goods and the lowest price. You take these off my hands. I didn't just... <sighs> For a minute there, I thought I'd accidentally sold a bunch of health potions, but no. Oh! I nearly did. There you go, see? Come back and see me again. You too. Oh, oh. What? Rumors? The Imperial Watch seems awfully worried about the Grey Fox. Look at all those wanted posters. I know. I seem to have written them in the wrong language or something because I can't read any of them. Um, right, okay. Now that's out of the way. We've got a package to deliver. Where, where was it supposed to be? What did, what did the note say? Uh, Augusta Calidia in the Tiber Septum Hotel in the Talos Plaza. Well, let's hope she's actually in the hotel, because I'm not going to look all over the sea to look for her. Well, I might have to wait at the hotel until later, until she comes back or something, if she's not there, I suppose. That'd be really annoying. That's like an entire day wasted. I've not got much one, much of one left, because I slept through the entire morning, because I was out on totally legitimate business last night. Oh well, we've got an excuse to go explore the city now, I suppose, beyond just exploring it for its own sake, I suppose. Which is nice. Well, there's mountains in the background. Mountains, Gandalf. Um, pretty impressive. I have a mod installed that actually makes the distant fog a little bit more extreme than it is in the vanilla game. It makes things feel a bit like they're a bit further away than they actually are, although... 
I might turn it tone it down just a little. How are you? Whoa! Holy crap. What is it, citizen? Nothing. Just on my way. I'm a courier, don't you know? Oh hello. Wisp stalks. Hey, you go poisonous mushrooms just growing here for whatever reason. Didn't check this out, did I? Mad Hetty. Cats! Cats everywhere! Giant ones tunneling underneath us, tunneling beside us, tunneling in our very minds! What are you yelling about? The giant cats! Giant kittens, to be exact! Can't you hear them? What, what, what about cats? Cats? Who oh, said anything about cats? I'm talking about pudding! Delicious, moist pudding! Deep, it's dripping from our ears! You're completely mad. Mad? No, not mad. Mad tastes horrible. Like wood covered in honey. Sweet, but tough. Oh, so very tough. Regret. Now that's a tasty dish, served with a few shaving, shavings of doorknob. Are you sure? No. You okay? Be seen. What is it now? Hi there. Giovanni Andretus and Sandy. Hi there. Had you, had you like some nice fresh crab? Caught me some biggins this morning. Not really. The feed bag isn't fancy, but it fills you up. Okay. Well, I've met a crab merchant apparently. Are you with the Rincedon gang, or are you with the Aviogetto gang? I don't know what those are. The two gangs battling it out for ownership of the tunnel between the waterfront and the temple districts. I offer services to the Rincedons and offer them decent prices on all my goods, but I refuse to serve anyone in the Aviogetto gang. But as long as you're not an Aviogetto, I suppose I could show you what I have for sale. What do you have for sale? Ooh! You wouldn't happen to be... Ah, I don't have anything stolen on me. Oh, yes, I do. They... Your offense as well. All right, Giovanni. I must be on my way, sir, but I'll be seeing you later. Um, the Emporium of Waterfront Traders. Hi. Welcome, friend, to the Emporium of Waterfront Traders. We're an honest band of honest merchants trying to earn an honest living, selling the only the finest goods at honest prices. Did I happen to mention we're honest? Yes, you did. Good, because that's us. Honest. To the very last. Of to the very bone. We've got plenty of fine wares for sale, as long as you're not interested in asking where it comes from. <laughs> right. I'll buy just about anything for the right price. Will you buy any... Ch no, actually. I bet if I talked him up enough, though, he probably would, wouldn't he? Pike. Drain speed. Don't have much for sale though, but although he does have, does have arrows, he has arrows. I should make a mental note of that. Um, right. Bye. And what about you? This must be your lucky day. I bet you do a bit of alchemy, am I right? Well, I've got an amazing range of rare and expensive ingredients you won't find anywhere else. I bet you are anything, I'll find them with at the, at the, at the shop with the crazy man with the giant hat. The, these ingredients are pretty rare though. Yeah, uh, here, what did I tell you? You won't find this. Selection anywhere else, especially not in up in the city. Where did you get them? Who cares where I got them? It's none of your damn business where or how I got them. You want them or not? Oh, it's nosy. You're actually going to spend some coin this time. I'll just ask more questions. I'm sorry. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. Yeah, what will it be? Pestle. I wish you had more than a more of a pestle, though, because I've already got that. Harada. Holy crap, that's expensive. And blood grass. That's expensive, too. Although, probably because it's the rarest ingredients here. Um... It occurred to me that if I were to never do the main quest, this would be the only place I could get Harada and Bloodgrass from, probably. Huh. No wonder it's expensive. Stop talking. Oh, God. Same to you. What's this? Isn't there a sign? Undermarket Tunnel. I happen to know from prior knowledge that this goes straight to the the market district, and we have no re reason to go there yet, so uh, I won't. Good to see you. Not sure which one I talk to though. I don't know which. You want to go to the Tiber Septim Hotel, which is in the Talos Plaza, which is different. Should be closer to get through this way. Uh, what else we got? Wanted a professional cleaning lady to clean up the mesh. Why would you write mesh? 
I think I'll clean up the mess after our drinking contest. One of our drinking contests. Converted checkpoint apartments. Wanted professional killers of rats and other vermin. Good paying and traditional work for mercenaries of all stripes. Apply within. I can kill rats. Oh yeah, I can kill rats. I can kill rats for the best of them. I wonder what they. I wonder if they pay decent. Uh, rat catcher. Not a very glamorous job, is it? But then again, it's yet another reason for me to be sneaking around the place. I suppose. <laughs> I'm a rat catcher and a courier. You have my ear, citizen. Hi. Yes? Okay, never mind. Move along. Do you know where the guy who's supposed to be at this desk is? Lost one flame atronach last seen at my tower. 1,000 septum reward. Okay. Grey fox, man or myth? No joke, that right there is probably... That's a quest from Daggerfall. Um. Oh, hello. Right, while he gets here, I'm going to say we've, we've been having a look through this. Um, Grey Fox, man or myth, is a so-called Thieves Guild masterminding all the thefts in the Imperial City. Captain Hieronymus Lex of the Imperial Watch seems to think so. When asked about the Thieves Guild and its mythical leader, the Grey Fox, the captain was quite emphatic. This one man is responsible for all crime in the city. Well, got some news for you there, Hieronymus. <laughs> um... The energetic and tenacious Captain Lex has therefore devoted himself to apprehending this masked menace. Uh, when questioned on the subject, Adamus Philida, um, Legion Commander and Captain Lex's immediate superior, had the following response. Ridiculous, the Grey Fox is just a fairy tale. There's no such thing as a thieves' guild, and there have, never has been. Stories of an unstoppable thief called the Grey Fox have been circulating around the Imperial City for centuries. The stories claim he can turn invisible at will and shrink himself down to the size of a mouse. Turn into mist and seep under locked doors and perform any, any number of other truly unbelievable feats. If even half of these stories are true, Captain Lex will have his hands full capturing the Grey Fox. Alright, hello. Guess the other chap sent you through, right? Hail, citizen. I speak for the Emperor. Or at least I did. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. <laughs> uh, what? Farewell, citizen. The Imperial... Oh. Move well, on. I was going to ask you about the... Hang on a minute. If I actually... There we go. Ask Hail about citizen. the rat killing. Yes, we've got a nasty problem there. I can pay you 50 gold for each rat you kill. Beneath the waterfront tunnels, a small network of naturally formed caverns. We don't use them for anything, but there have been reports lately. Well, apparently some rather vicious rats have been breeding down there. Occasionally, they come up out of the under caverns. Uh, well then, I'll deal with it. Really? Fantastic. You can enter the under caverns through the grate in the tunnel near the waterfront gates. You're looking for the rats with darker fur than you'd normally see around here. We're worried that they might be plague carriers, so be careful. Ugh. Okay. I've killed some rats already, you know. Oh? Well, where's the proof? I'm not paying you without evidence that you've actually killed any rats. Oh. Fair enough. Carry on. That's a neat trick there with your voice, mate. Um. <coughs> right, okay. How do I get down there then? There's under caverns underneath the tunnel. How you say. Uh, I'm looking for like hatchways and things now. Anything at all? <coughs> Anything? Doors or hatches or, or something? Hello. I haven't time for food. Hey, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet I've got just what you need. You won't find produce like this up in the city, not at these prices. Ah, uh, let's do business. Ooh. You're not another fence, are you, by any chance? You there with your platinum coin? Oh, no, actually, apparently you're not. Interesting. Seller and not a buyer, it seems. Although, I bet, once again, if I uh, chatted him up enough, probably else. would. His responsibility score is not going to be very high. 
Um, ah, there we go. Abandoned house basement. Well, it's down at least. We're headed in the right direction. Okay. And the caverns, right? Okay, great. Edith Cormorant. All right. What else is around here then? Oh. Just let ourselves in, shall we? Oh, hello. Oh, hang on a minute. Andraus Rincedon. Oh, you're the Rincedon gang then. Better not be an Avio Ghetto spy. I won't tolerate one of his boys walking around on my turf. I have nothing to do with him. Well, you're a pretty lucky kid then. I won't kill you today, but I don't think you don't. But don't think I won't have you executed if you get in the way of the Rincedon gang. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not, I'm not here to cause trouble. This is the, this is the boarded up building on the waterfront. This is, I did wonder, you know. Huh. Um. Right. Okay. Have I, um, okay, I've got my, I've got my mace, I've got my gloves on still, I didn't mean to though, I've got my hood as well, and I've got no shoes on, <laughs> I've been walking around barefoot this entire time, oh dear, alright, well, if I'd known I was going to do this today, I would have brought my armour and probably my bow and arrows, but, no rats, you know, who cares, right, okay, under cabins, Really? Nothing? Okay, I got one out of it. Nice. Those restore health, you see. That particular mushroom. Crikey, it's dark down here. Alright. I did have one question, I remember, in the comments. Ah, hello, Mr. Ratty. I used to think that's a rat. No, it's not. It's a skull. Um, okay, never mind. Um, did have one comment saying, If you know it's dark on the video... Sorry, I'm... Drink patronizing voice from reading that out in. Um, but anyway. Oh, is that a child skeleton? That's grim. Iron War X and a leather sh You know what? I left my other shield at home, but I'll use this one. Um. Oh, hello. Um, someone asked me, like, well, if you, if you, um, if you know it's dark, why install the mod when you know people are going to be watching on the videos? Well, for one thing, it's not that dark. It should still be fine if you're, if you're not as long as you're not watching it on a phone in the middle of the day outside or something. Um, that's definitely a rat. But I reinstalled it for two reasons. One, because it's more realistic. And two, because the darkness is actually factored into the stealth in the game. The fact that the dungeons are darker actually makes it easier to sneak around them. Um, and believe me, I need all the help I can get in that department because stealth in this game is actually surprisingly hard. Uh, it's not dead, but it still hasn't seen me somehow. Okay. If you want to do a playthrough where you sneak around lots of people and don't fight them, it can be really hard to sneak around in this game. Wow, okay. Oh! Oh, I see! I need to pick up the rat's bodies to dead rat at it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm going to need to collect all you guys, I think, don't I? Oi, right, come back. I need to squish you and take your corpses to the Imperial Watch. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal rat. <laughs> you violated my... Um, sense of hygiene? I don't know. You violated something, though, because the Imperial Watch wants you dead. There's a bounty on you. You're outlaws, officially. And apparently, my stealth is so damn good that they aren't actually reacting to being hit, which is quite amusing. What have we got? An iron helmet? Whatever, I guess I can sell it. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, I will equip my. Right, okay. Oh, I see. You're all running away when I spot you. Like, rats probably would. You know what that is? It's a mod that does this. 
I have a mod called NPCs Yield. Uh, and it makes NPCs yield occasionally when they're on low enough health. Um, so that you don't have to kill them. It actually comes with a bunch of dialogue topics and different options for what you can do with them once they've yielded to you. Nothing sordid, so don't get any ideas. But, um... But one other thing it does include is that some enemies, if they if you, they encounter an enemy that's, you know, way more powerful than them, they'll actually just run away instead of fighting you. And I think that's what these rats are doing. My my character is, is way bigger and meaner than them, so they're just running away instead of fighting me like crazed lunatics. Hello. Who are you? I'm going to take a leap of faith here and... Okay, it doesn't look like you're hostile. Good. Annoying creature. The rats? Yeah, no, I'm killing them, that's why. Um... Hey, you boss, there's not let anyone in this side out, so don't go in there. You got that? Sure, loud and clear. Good. Now, you ain't, you haven't seen any of those Rincidon gang members around here, have you? I don't think so. Well, if you do see them, beat them up first, will you? Saves us the trouble of getting our hands dirty. Okay. Yes. Hey, you couldn't see see me sne sneaking sneaking me some mead, could you? Or even settle for ale if you got it. No, sorry, I don't have any. Well, you're no fun. I wonder if I had some ale, I could have offered it to him. All right. Well, I'm not gonna do all that. I'm not gonna sneak in there then. Not while they're watching, anyway. Very hard. Converted checkpoint apartment building basement. Well, if I want to rob that place, I suppose that that's a way in, right? I've killed far worse than you. Yeah, let's not piss these guys off. They're not very clever, but, you know, they're still quite mean and tough, so I'd rather not get in their bad books, you know? Um... A little bit surprised they didn't attack, try and mug me, actually, really. <laughs> oh, pearl sliver, nice. What we got in here? Lots of stuff being stashed down here, including a light armor vest. What if I light armor two points on self? It looks daft. But. It's worth a fair bit of money, so... A fair bit of money, he says. It's the most valuable thing we've we've collected so far. I didn't even have to steal it, although I kind of am stealing it, because someone stashed it down there, and they're going to be very annoyed to find it's gone. But uh, hey-ho. You know what? I'm just going to put this shield away so I can see where I'm going. Since these rats are not putting up much of a fight, it would, it would, it would appear. What's the time, by the way? I mean, it's not like... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, we already had rough leather, rough leather shoes. Drop those now. Um, blacksmith's pants, buckled shoes, huntsman leather pants. Of these. What was I going to say? Um. I don't know. It's gone now. Can't remember. Wood door needs a key. By any chance? Oh yeah, I was going to say what, what the time was. It's 8.23 p.m. already. Crikey. Um, I might want to slow down the rate of time in the game. However, I think I remember reading somewhere that if you t change the time scale in Oblivion, it messes up some quests. So I'm a little bit loath to do it, but... Right, yeah, this door doesn't go anywhere. So no need to uh, go looking for keys for that. Bog Beacon Asco Cap. Oh, nostalgia. Um, okay, that's collapsed. Come on, there's gonna be some more ratties down here somewhere. I gotta get paid. Come on, ratties. Come on. I've got some food for you. It's big and it's. Crunchy, shall we say. There you all are. Hello. Ah! 
Oh, you take a bit of a beating, don't you, considering you're a bunch of cowards. Not that I want to talk. Alright. Carrying a bunch of potentially diseased plague rats in my uh, in my pouch here, but I have not don't feel sick yet, so surely I'm fine, right? I don't even have any cure disease potions. Whoa, hello. Rinsed on gang member. We've been stuck down here for days. I feel like such an idiot. What happened? We stupidly thought we could take on the Avio Ghetto gang by ourselves, so we went after their boss, but it's just the two of us. They had two goons waiting for us, and we were lucky to get away with our limbs intact. But now we're stuck down here in this stupid cave, waiting for the boss to realise we're missing and come rescue us. Way out, it's just like down that way, mate. Hi there. I could have beaten those stupid Javier Get a Gang goons with both my both hands tied behind my back, but uh, my, my legs started hurting and uh, I've got a stomach ache. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> At least I'm honest about being a coward. Um, <laughs> uh, right. I think that might be it, you know. Yep. Looks like it. Casper Savio, get those hideaway. Yeah. Banded house basement, right. Yeah, it's, it's just... Whatever, idiots. Um, blast and damn it! This is why I pick up torches all the time. I remember someone saying to me in one of the on one of the test streams I did, "Why are you picking up torches? They don't run out in oblivion. <laughs> they do." It's like the good old that that classic argument, isn't it? Potions don't stack. Yes, they do. I even made a video once demonstrating that they stack. <laughs> Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm not disturbing you, am I? I'm just, just a rat catcher going about his, 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 his day job, which is turning into his night job at this point. Bloody hell. Um, oh, right. I, I don't need this anymore. Hello. Although, hello. what am I doing? I can sell that. At the feed bag recently? I try not to eat there. Right. Hello. I hope Mr. Curial Watch guy is still there. I got a bunch of dead rats, and I don't, I'm not taking them back to my um, abode. Ah, there you are. The Imperial Legion is at your disposal, citizen. What seems to be the problem? Uh, the problem is I got a sack full of rats, and I want some money for them. Well, don't just give them to me. I might catch something. Come with me to the furnace. You can throw them in there. Um, okay. Oh. To wear my damned hood. I look like a bright Wally. Um, it bothers me that the hood doesn't quite match up properly. Like I can still see, like it doesn't. It doesn't attach to my shirt, which makes it look really weird. But oh well. You'd want to wear something to hide your face, I suppose. If you're sneaking about, which we're not right now, so. I thought I'd just hand the rats over and that'd be it, but uh, this is interesting. Check it out, there's natural furnace and everything. Speak. Hail citizen. Uh, shall I burn the rats now? Yes, use the furnace. It's right at your feet. Uh, right, okay. Ah, you've gotten quite a few of them. You have certainly earned your keep this day. Great! Hooray! What did, you, what did I get for it then? 50 gold. Honest jobs of the suckers, I swear. 